Aaron Hartman with Modern Ag. Uh, this is Modern Ag's 2021 video series, and today we're going to talk about Select Shot. Select Shot's a capstan product. Uh, it's a liquid delivery system which applies a dose of product per seed. Uh, it reduces liquid input but keeps the same concentration. More time planning, less time filling. Uh, the liquid placement can be by, on, or after the seed. Um, it has turn compensation. No extra monitor, it runs off the ISO bus system. Uh, same dose of seed, input, and population. Optimizes plant health and nutrient uptake. Um, valve and seed sensor diagnostics, and it is capable of high speed planters. Uh, one of the things I like about this system is the amount of fertilizer you save compared to a system that does not have it. As you can see, the seed and the sensor are tied together where you can drop liquid on the seed before the seed or after the seed however the customer prefers it this is an iso bus user interface as you can see this is your main run screen this is where you're going to turn your pump off and on you got automatic manual and open mode in open mode, that is going back to a dribble system where you're going to put a orifice in line. Then you got your pump control of being on or off. On your second screen down here, this is where you're going to put in your product information. So what your population is, what your target application rate, your pressure, and your speed. And then you can choose where you want that shot placement to be. This current setup right now, we have it shooting right on the middle of the seed. Your next... Uh, screen is going to be your tip calibration so what this does is we go out and do a catch cal on a row to make sure that we're catching the correct amount of product that we have set in here to make sure everything is accurate our next screen on here is your uh, layout of your system information your valve diagnostics and a key fob mode what the key fob does is you can go to each individual row and make sure that nothing's plugged the next screen is just going to be your tank information the screen after that is going to give you an active seed slash valve sensor indication. So if we don't see a seed sensor or we don't see the valve pulsing, we're going to alarm at you. Your next screen is going to be your sensor screen. None of this is uh, changeable after we get the initial setup on it. And after that, you're going to have your pump uh, calibration numbers. Once again, once those are set, you shouldn't have to adjust them.